Hello everyone, in the previous video, we have explained, basic introduction about, Selex new temperature controller, TC513CX. In this video, we will go through, different levels and parameters of TC513CX programming, and understand how it works. Level 1 Okay, let's begin the programming of the TC513CX. To enter into the level 1 of the programming mode, press decrement key for 3 seconds. As you can see, the product is showing input on the display and J-type thermocouple is set as a default. To change the input type, long press set key and then press increment key once, at a time to choose the desired value. Here we are using RTD as input type. To proceed to the next parameter, press increment key once. Product is showing unit on the display, which can be changed to either degree Celsius or degree Fahrenheit by long pressing set key and simultaneously pressing increment key. Next parameter is set point, low limit and set point, high limit respectively. User can set the set point range by using these parameters. Next parameter is FTC, which is filter time constant, which allows controller to reduce the noise from the process application. We can increment or decrement the value, by long pressing the set key, and simultaneously increment key, or decrement key, respectively. Now by pressing, increment key, unit will show control mode. We can set the control action, in either reverse mode, or forward mode. In reverse mode, controller will work for heating, and, in forward mode, controller will works for cooling applications. Next parameter is relay action, we can select control action between PID control, and on off control. Next parameter is, anti-reset windup, which can be used to minimize, the disturbance from the field. By pressing increment key, unit will show reset to default parameter, which can be used to change all parameters, to factory default settings. To exit the programming, press down key for 3 seconds. Level 2 Now to enter into level 2, of the programming. Press up arrow key for 3 seconds. If we are using PID in relay action parameter. Unit will show tune parameter, in which we can set the auto tuning, and self tuning, or set it to off, according to requirement. Next parameters are P, I, and D, values, which denotes proportional band, integral time, and derivative time respectively. User can change these values, according to P, I, and D parameter ranges and field conditions. Now we have cyclic time mode parameter, for PID control, we can set the mode to auto or user mode. Next parameter is cycle time, which can be changed from, range 0.1 to 99.9 .9 seconds according to field condition. Next parameter is display bias, which can be used to, adjust display readings, from the controller compared to another indicator, or recorder. Hysteresis. If we are using on off control in relay action parameter. In level 2, unit will show hysteresis parameter, in which we can change the value to the desired degree on which we are switching the relay on and off according to predefined band. Hysteresis parameter is very useful to increase any load life, as it will prevent frequent on off of the load over a certain set point. To exit the programming, press increment, or decrement key, for 3 seconds. Level 3 
Press increment and decrement key simultaneously for 3 seconds to enter into level 3 of the programming. Unit will show set point parameter and the lock status as well. We can change the status to lock by long pressing set key and the increment key once. Similarly we can change the lock status of level 1 and level 2 subsequently with the same procedure. By using these parameters, we can lock and make set point level 1, level 2 as read only to avoid uncensored access. To exit the programming, press increment and decrement key for 3 seconds. Applications Extruder machine, food industry, autoclave, packaging industry, plastic processing, oven, heaters and boilers, and many more.